In this example, we'll be um, finding the equation of the line tangent to the circle at a certain point. Well, we're given this equation right here, so we know that our center of our circle is at 5, 3, and our radius is the square root of 5, and we have some point on the circle is going to be at 3, 2. All right, well, let's go ahead and plot out the circle just to see what's going on. We've got a center at 5, 3, and it says that um, we have a point is going to be at 3, 2, and we know that our radius is the square root of 5, which is just a little bit bigger than 2, so maybe here. I'm going to use this circle tool here to see if that everything lines up. And there we go. So yeah, it works. Okay, so what we've got is we've got this point, which is right here on the circle. Let me change the color. And there's a line tangent to this circle. So what that means is that we've got some line which is just hitting the circle at that point. And let's see if that's good. No, not really. Anyway, it's doing something like that. And we want to figure out, okay, what's this equation of this line? And I'm doing an awful job drawing it, but it's going through there like that. Okay, so anyway, let me clean this center up and put a dot right at the center. And there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out, first of all, I need to know what's the slope of the radius. So what's the slope right here? And to find that out, I use the slope formula which basically says that I have y2 minus y1 and that's a minus x2 minus x1 so I've got my center here which is at 5 3 and I've got my point at 3 2 so I take my y2 which I'll call my center my y2 and my x2 so we'll just say that this is y2 and x2, whoops, I'm writing them in the wrong order, x2 and y2 are these guys here, and we're going to say this is x1, and this is y1. Alright, so y2 was 3 minus y1 which was 2 over x2 which is 5 minus x1 which is 3 which gives me a slope of 3 minus 2 is 1 and 5 minus 3 is 2 so that is the slope of the radius Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out what's the slope of the tangent. Well, all we're going to do is we're going to invert the slope and take the opposite sign. So let's do that. Invert the slope is going to give us 2 over 1. Take the opposite sign. That is the slope of the tangent, which is in fact the slope of this line which means I really drew that line completely wrong. So let me fix that real quick. It's going through here and here. Oh yeah, that was way off. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay. Anyway, so we're still trying to find this. So anyway, slope of the tangent is negative 2. Now, once we have the slope of the tangent, and we have a point on this line, which we've already said that right here we have 3, 2 on the line, 
we just plug them in. We've got slope intercept form is y equals m x plus b. We've got a y coordinate of 2, which I'm getting from right here, and an x coordinate of 3. And my slope is negative 2. And then I get 2 equals negative 6 plus b. And then I add 6 to both sides. And I get 8 equals b. All right. So what we're saying is that my y-intercept of this line is 8. Well, look, if this keeps going, it it will go right through 8. So, if we plug all our information back into our slope-intercept form, we have y equals m, which is the slope of our radius, negative 2x plus b. And we said that b was 8, so it's plus 8. So that's finding the slope of a line tangent to a circle at some point.